So on March 5th, we saw misty-eyed left-wing hacks paying tribute to a dead tyrant. Sean Penn, Oliver Stone, Jimmy Carter, Joe Kennedy, all shower Hugo Chavez with wreaths of blithering babble. Also, British politician George Galloway, who considers Chavez a modern-day Spartacus. This is George on a TV show pretending to be a cat. Would you like me to be the cat? Yes, please. Oh, that's yummy. Delicious. Good girl. Good girl. You just weird. And he won re-election. <laughs> He's a modern-day Garfield. But the winner in the Chavez Drivel Olympics, the nobody at the nation who wrote this. The biggest problem Venezuela faced during his rule was not that Chavez was authoritarian, but that he wasn't authoritarian enough. Tell that to the dead. While it's rude to bag on the dead man, it's more off-putting to lionize a bad man. At its heart is bile for America. The default cliche that infects all lefties, Hugo, was David to our Goliath. Even though this Dave stole billions of dollars, fostering a murder rate that dwarfs Chicago's. When Oliver Stone and Sean Penn weep over a man who demonized America, their message is simple. We agree with them. What perverted minds these celebrities have. It's like the women who fall in love with killers on death row. In the end, it's all about the desperately low opinion they have of themselves, an opinion we all share. The equation seems to be, I'm a piece of crap, so I have to fall in love with someone who also sees me as a piece of crap. Is Fact is, Hugo was the least popular Hugo since the Yugoslavian national vehicle. Maybe all these Hollywood ghouls should be forced to drive them just to remind themselves what amazing tools they truly are.